Okay, so I already have my eyebrows on. I did that because that takes the longest. But for now, um, I'm just going to kind of do uh, my makeup pad. Re regularly do it. And I did just get two new foundations. So I'm going to try one out today. I don't know if the color matches. I don't know how I'm going to like it. But I figured, why not just give it a try? Because I'm only doing some errands today. So this is the RCMA foundation. I don't think it has any other name. And it comes like this when you get the little sample. So we're going to try this out today. And if you hear noise, um, it's my baby in the background. She's sitting in her little bouncer. And I have already prepped my skin with a um, primer slash skincare and a lotion. So I'm just going to take on the concealer brush. So this is a very, very, very full coverage foundation. So I wouldn't suggest it for every day unless you have really bad like rosacea or something. But I want to give it a try because if I like it, I want to get it for my kit. So we're just going to try this side. Maybe I'll try one side with a brush, one side with a beauty blender. I'm guessing it's too much foundation already. I have my beauty blender, so we're going to try that. So I have been gone from YouTube for like two years. In those two years, a lot has changed, obviously. I have a five-month-old now. Well, she almost going to be six months. So five, six-month-old. Um... I've been married for two and a half years, we moved. The reason that I took a pause from YouTube is because I had gotten a MacBook Air and I had no like desire to learn how to edit an iMovie, which sounds weird but it was, it was hard for me. It was like a big adjustment coming from my other computer that I used. So I had no desire. I had to like clean up my computer so that I could edit on it. Um, I had to get my camera working and figure out how to mount it and just a bunch of other stuff. But then I finally decided that now that I don't work retail anymore, I have the time to do it um, and not be like stressed out. So I finally learned how to edit, I set up my computer, fix my camera, blah blah blah, and here we are. So we'll see how often I'm able to get um, videos out. I'm hoping like at least once a week because like I said I do have a six month old so sometimes it's hard to do anything with her but she is sitting right next to me watching her baby Einsteins so you probably hear her. Okay now we're going to try with a uh, brush. I'm going to use a Sigma F80 and kind of just pack it into the skin. Um, the color, I'm trying to see in camera. Color's okay. It's a little light. I'm just darken it with a powder. But we'll see how this looks. So, I don't know if I told you guys or not, but I worked for MAC Cosmetics and after, well before I had her, I went on maternity leave early, um, and then after I had her, my husband decided he didn't want me to go back to work and be able to stay at home with her. So I left Mac, and now I stay home with her, and I work um, home part-time, and then freelancing. So I'm going to hold up my mirror so I can see how this looks. So far, so good. It is a surprisingly more matte foundation, or satiny foundation, I should say. I don't see a very shiny. I'm going to put a little bit more on with my beauty blender. So this makeup is makeup I would do anytime in a, I'm in a rush or my husband's not home to watch her while I do my makeup. So it's pretty much quick and easy. Um, I'm going to do foundation first then we'll do something quick on the eyes. So, so far with the foundation I do like it. Um, more satin matte finish, pretty much full coverage, and I like it either way with the brush or with the beauty blender. So I plan on doing um, first impressions. I have a few new products that I want to try out, so I figured I'd do some first impressions and like get ready with me, get get ready with me video, and we can try. Um, the new products out together. They are affordable and high-end. There are a few of each. 
so I try a little bit of everything. Excuse me if I'm kind of awkward on camera. I have to get back into the swing of things and I have to figure out my filming situation. Hi, Hi Doodles. Hi. So the foundation um, kind of looks like a second skin, but I did touch it and it is a little bit tacky, so it does not dry down from what I can see. So if you are oily skinned, I would definitely recommend setting this. Now I'm combination, right now I'm a little bit more on the dry side, so I'll set it in some areas so that I last all day. So now we're going to do some concealer. I'm going to use the um, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in light medium. And this concealer is the best concealer I've ever tried, or the best concealer I've ever, ever used. Um, it dries down, it's really full coverage, it like does not crease, so I just do nose, under eye, I'm just going to blend that out, and then I do cream contouring. And especially, especially since this foundation is uh, lighter, I have to bronze up my skin, I'd rather do that with creams, um, and then set with a powder. So let me know what videos you guys want to see. I already have a few that I know that I want to do, but if there's anything in particular you guys want to see, just let me know and I will try my best. Um, I'm going to try to do a video, get a video out once a week at least, because I'd rather be consistent and have a few videos than do a whole bunch and then stop doing it. Because sometimes it can be a little overwhelming. That is with foundation, concealer. So it looks crazy because my eyebrows. Now I'm going to do a cream contour. And I'm going to use what I always use. It's the Makeup Forever uh, Ultra HD Invisible Cover Foundation Stick. It's this. And it's shade 177. Y505. I didn't like it as foundation because it settled in my lines really bad and it just did not look good. So I just take it and they go about halfway right um, on my cheekbones, I guess. And I use just a real techniques brush and just blend it upwards. Okay, and then I just take a beauty blender and go over it to make sure that it's all blended on top. And when you blend up, you're going to kind of lift everything um, and give a bronzy look because you don't want to go down and make it look dirty everywhere else. And then I'm going to take a little bit and put it on my forehead and then just blend out with the foundation brush that I used. Um, I do contour my nose just a tiny bit. So I use this brush. Um, it looks like this. It's one of those oval brushes. I got this off AliExpress. I got like a pack of five or six for seven bucks. I do recommend them if you're not looking for quality um, because the handles are not very stiff. They're kind of really loose and wobbly because they're plastic, but they're great if you know you just want to try them out and you don't want to spend an arm and a leg on brushes. So I just take it and do two lines and then I am going to blend out in between the brush that I used to contour and then the foundation brush. And then with the foundation brush, just go over it. Right now I'm going to set everything with powder. Under my eyes, 9 times out of 10, I use either the Kat Von D um, little refill pans that look like this. And I'm using the shade Levitation, which is peach, and Lyric, which is yellow. Or the Anastasia of Beverly Hills um, banana powder. And I do put it on a sponge or a beauty blender and put it right under my eye. The reason I use a beauty blender is because I crease pretty bad no matter what concealer I use. Um, so the sponge just makes sure everything is kind of like locked in place. Whenever I use a brush it wouldn't get in the fine lines and then I'd wrinkle or crease pretty bad. So today I'm using the banana powder by Anastasia. Now I'm going to use a highlighting powder on my forehead um, to give a little bit of a glow. I'm going to use Peach Nectar 
by Anastasia and just on that elf brush just a little bit right in the center to give a little bit of a radiance because sometimes my forehead can look dry and I do not want it to look powdery and dry and crackly. Now I'm going to take Studio Fix Powder by MAC and NC42 and just a Real Techniques brush and I'm going to use that to set everything else. Now when I put my powder on I kind of push it in place. Um, it gives you a little bit more coverage that way. A little bit underneath the chin just to make sure it's blended down my neck. And then I just push it on the sides of my nose and that sets the contour that I did as well. And I always just blend it all over so that it blends the highlight, the under eye concealer, the contour, the foundation. I'm going to put it over that highlight to set it in place. So bear with me throughout some of my videos because sometimes my camera automatically just stops recording. I have a Canon Rebel T3i, so if any of you guys have one and know why that happens, let me know. It just automatically says, camera has automatically uh, stopped recording. So it's kind of annoying. Because unless I look up at the camera, I won't know that it happened. Alright, so everything is set. Now I'm going to do a little bit of bronzer. I'm going to use MAC um, Give Me Sun with this Morphe E4 brush. Kind of looks like a MAC 160, except it's a little bit looser. So I'm just going to use this to warm up my skin in the same areas where I contoured. This is my favorite bronzer. I think this is one of the first bronzers I ever got. I will say I do miss the old packaging. It's in this newer packaging. It's been like this for a few years now. And, I don't know, I just miss the old packaging. Kind of where I would do... Um blush as well and then I think I am going to take blush today. So my trick um, with highlighters is I do my highlighter first and then my blush so that everything looks blended because sometimes uh, when people put on their highlighter over their blush it looks patchy and I do not like when it looks all patchy and you can see like a line of highlighter. Alright next I'm going to do highlighter. Um, I'm going to do highlighter before my blush, and I'm going to use Anastasia Peach Nectar on this MAC 139 brush. It was a limited edition. It's like a duo fiber, and I'm just going to put that all on the cheekbone. Okay, so if you see hair, it's because I'm holding P, uh, because she does not want to sit in her bouncer anymore. So anyway, I'm going to finish up my highlighter on this side. Kind of just sweep it all over, and then a little on the forehead, chin. Uh, I like this highlighter because it's not chunky. It's um, really smooth and kind of just looks like a second skin. It looks like natural, glowy skin. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of this, and then I'll do a little bit of a gold one. And I'm going to do the Laura Geller in the shade Gilded Honey. Looks like this. And I'm going to take that on the same fluffy brush, the Duo Fiber brush, and just go right on top of the one I already did. So for blush, I'm just going to use one of my old favorites. It's MAC Melba, and I just have it in this palette, but it's this one right here. And I'm going to use a 168 brush by MAC. So I do smile when I put my blush on. I smile, put it on the apples, and kind of bring it upwards a little bit. Okay, so that's all done. After I do my blush, I do take my beauty blender that I had the powder on for under my eyes and I kind of just go right back over everything to blend it in because I don't like a line of blush either on top. And then I take a little bit of highlighter on my finger. I'm going to use a Laura Geller one. Go right on the tip of my nose. And then that just um, kind of raises the nose a little bit. Alright, so skin is all done. Next, we're going to move on to the eyes, and this is what I do almost all the time for my eye makeup when I don't want anything, but when I have a full face like this, I don't like to leave my eyes um, blank because it looks weird and it looks unfinished. So essentially, you can do any eye makeup you want with this look because the skin is kind of just glowy um, and healthy looking, but I don't have a lot of time when I get ready most most days because um, she's really really good 
but I don't have like an hour, hour and a half to sit in do my makeup. But for my eyes, what we're gonna use, or what I like to use, this is my favorite, like, no makeup, makeup look for my eyes, is MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC42. And I'm just gonna take it on a 224 by MAC, it's just a fluffy brush, and literally just pat it all over the eye. Okay, so I finished my eyes. All I did was put Studio Fix Powder all over on top and a little bit underneath. Um, next I'm going to do mascara. I will most likely cut this part out because it takes me a little while to do mascara. But I want to show you the mascara that I use, or have currently been using. It is one of my favorites. It is MAC Upward Lash. And it looks like this. And the wand is really cool. So the wand looks like that. It's like a little tiny spiky comb. Round spiky comb? I don't know how to explain it. Um, but the reason I like this is because it gives really full lashes. If you don't like full thicker, voluminous looking lashes and you won't like this mascara, but I use this for top and the bottom. So I'm going to do this and my nurse her really quick and then I will be back with the finished look. Okay, so all I did is I went back and I added top and bottom mascara, a little bit of an inner corner highlight and just lip gloss because honestly when I do this look or whenever I put makeup on, um, I either have a liquid lipstick on or Vaseline because if I'm with Penelope or I have her, uh, honestly, I just want to kiss her all the time, so I don't like to wear anything on my lips. So a few things. So the foundation, again, it was the RCMA foundation. I'll try to have everything listed in the description box. The color that I, um, that I have on, she's totally done, so I have to finish this up. But the color that I have on is Shinto 2. Um, I need Shinto 3 because the 2 was a little bit too light. I just darkened it with my powder. I absolutely love it. You don't feel like you have anything on. It's pretty much full coverage. I'm looking in the mirror and it's kind of just like a second skin. You don't feel it. It's not heavy. So far I love it. I think I'll do an update later tonight to let you know how it wore. Um, but overall I absolutely love it with Beauty Blender or the brush. This is Penelope. You say hi P? You say hi? She's a grumpy girl because she wants to eat and take a nap. Um, but that's it. Thanks for watching. Again, this was just a ramble slash makeup routine slash my life update kind of thing. I'm going to try to get videos out more. Um, you'll probably see P a lot more because she's always with me. Um, but thanks for everybody for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Say bye. You want to say bye? Bye. Hi, everybody. So I'm just checking in. It is about... 3.04 right now. Um, I've had the makeup on since about 10 this morning. Um, I have gotten shiny, really shiny on my nose and on my chin. It settled a little bit on a fine line I have right above my lip. Um, I haven't blot or anything. I did take my lipstick off and put um, Vaseline on because I've just been home um, just cleaning and taking care of Penelope. So I wanted to check in before I did a blot. It's holding up really nice. I do not feel it other than the shininess. Um, right now I have no complaints. I'll check back in again tonight to give you an update on how it's been wearing through the day. Um, but now I am going to blot and powder a little bit because I have to run out. Um, so I will check back in with you guys later to let you know my overall thoughts about the foundation. Alright, bye. Hi everybody, it's now 645 and my skin is pretty oily. Um, I overall would not recommend this if you need like a full day of makeup unless your skin is very dry or a full day of um, wear without having to touch up. I haven't touched up since my last check-in and I will do so now because I'm going to go out to dinner. But overall it's pretty oily and pees right here. So it's good for a few hours but I wouldn't say for like an 8 to 10 hour day. Alright, thanks so much for watching this video and we'll see you in the next okay, one. So I'm doing my um, last and final check-in for the foundation. Um, it is like 9.30 I think and I did have to blot and powder a bunch around 6 o'clock. It was uh, pretty bad, super shiny, kind of sitting in all my fine lines. You could definitely tell I had foundation on, which I don't like. So this is how it looks. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of sitting in all my lines. But there's that. Say bye, P. We're going to put her to bed and call it a night. All right, bye.